Hey guys, it's Heather from Kelly with Plan, and today I get to flip through my newest sticker book with you guys, Roy G. Biv, Volume 3. So this is the third volume in this series. We did Volume 1, it sold out in a day. We did Volume 2, it has almost sold out. We ordered double of Volume 2, so that's why it's taken longer to sell out. There's about 50 books left, maybe even less than that, of Volume 2. Um, and now we've done Volume 3. For volume three, we ordered more than volume one, but not as many as volume two. So I don't know how fast these will sell out, but we have the sticker books and we also have a set of washi. I will say the washi last time sold out in a day. We restocked it and it sold out in 30 minutes. So this will likely sell out fast. If you want the washi, please set a reminder. Stock is limited, way more limited than the sticker books. So if you want the washi, be sure to set a reminder. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the washi paired with this coordinating sticker, but I'm also gonna show you how this washi looks really cute with our Rainbow Basics washi. So I'm, this is already available on our website. This and this release Friday, September 17th. All right, let's get started. So our first set is red. One thing I did in this box that's different from volume one and it might even be different from volume two. I can't remember how I did it in volume two, but the boxes are just totally clear. I know in volume one and maybe volume two, the boxes had florals in them. This time it's just clear boxes that you can use whether you're using the florals or not. True colors, I love them. So here we have a like a cherry red and a darker red, almost like a crimson here. Um, and then we have these super cute florals. You're gonna notice a lot of the colors in this book are a little bit darker. And I did that purposely because I knew this would be releasing in the fall and you'd be using it in the fall and the winter. So I think these, like these are really cute red florals, but they're also gonna be really cute for Christmas because they're red and green. So I really, really love these. Um, this is the washi. Oh, let me show you the second page of clear stickers, sorry. This is the second page of red stickers. This is the washi, so it has a red background with the really pretty red florals on it. You can pair this with the florals that are in here. It is also cute paired with the red polka dot washi from our Rainbow Basics. And it is also cute paired with the green polka dot washi from our Rainbow Basics. So if you haven't checked out Rainbow Basics washi, they look really cute with this, you're gonna see as we go. So, that is the red. Then let's go to orange. So we have like a true orange and a lighter orange here. Then we have our orange clear stickers. There are some blues and purples mixed in. I think this is gonna be so pretty in a fall spread. And then here is our other orange set. Okay, so then we have our orange washi. Let me unroll it so you guys can see. This is our orange washi. Again, you can see the blues and the purples and the greens in there with the orange. So again, this is gonna look cute paired with this. It's also gonna be cute paired with the orange from Rainbow Basics. You could also pair it with the green from Rainbow Basics. How cute is that pairing? You could also pair it, because it's got some blue in there too, you could also pair it with the blue if you're going for like an Auburn look. So lots of different ways to pair this washi with that Rainbow Basics washi. All right, next we have yellow. This is kind of like a golden yellow, which is really good for fall. And then this is a lighter yellow. And then here you can see this is yellow, but it's got a lot of golden yellow in it so that it would be really pretty to use for fall. And then these are our other yellow stickers, but it's also got, you know, pretty pairings. This is like a navy and different shades of green. And then this is our yellow washi. I'm trying to find the end of it. Is that the end of it? Okay, so this is our yellow washi. It's got the green paired in there. So of course, with this, you can pair it with the yellow from Rainbow Basics. The yellow is a little bit brighter in Rainbow Basics, but still really pretty. And of course, it's also gonna look really good paired with the green from Rainbow Basics. Okay. Next we have our green section. So here we have a dark green, like a Kelly green. And then this is a little bit of a lighter green. I love these florals. It's some of my favorite. Like this reminds me of a succulent. And this is like a little cacti sticking out. And then this, look at this little cacti right here. So this is green. It is paired with a little bit of blue, but it's really, really cute. This is our green washi. 
that goes with it. So again, you can see the blue and the cacti mixed in. Really, really pretty. And this, well, if I can get it to go back. Again, this is gonna look cute. You could pair it with the green to bring out green. You could also pair it with the teal from Rainbow Basics, and it kind of brings out the teal that's in some of that washi too. So, super cute to pair with Rainbow Basics. Next we have, we technically have two blue sections in this book because I found two blue florals and I wanted to use both of them. And so I did use both of them. So this first one is like a lighter blue, kind of like a wintry blue here and then kind of like a grayish blue here. And then here, it's very wintry. I feel like this is gonna be so cute for winter. It's got the light blue, the darker blue and almost like a minty blue mixed in. And then here we have the corner stickers and the side stickers. I think these are so pretty. And then here is the washi. Let me unroll it. So it's got the blues and the minty color. It's very pretty. And then of course with this one, it looks cute paired with the teal from Rainbow Basics. It also looks cute paired with the blue. So again, you can pair that with Rainbow Basics. All right, this is the set that I used in my classic spread this week. So if you saw my classic, this is the navy and then the lighter blue box. And then look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, this is like my favorite set in the whole book. I love these. And then these big ones. These are the ones that I used in my spread this week. And then this is the washi that coordinates with it. If I can find the end, there it is. So this is the washi. Looks really cute with those navy florals. And then, of course, you can also pair it with the blue from Rainbow Basics if you want to pair it with another design. All right, this is our indigo, kind of like a bluey, purpley color. So this is a lighter one. This one's a little bit darker. These are our florals. I think this would be so pretty for like an Easter spread or a spring spread. I just think these are gorgeous. So pretty. And then this is the washi that matches. Okay, so it's got the really pretty indigo florals on there. Love that one. Okay, then we have violets. So we have our dark purple and our lighter purple. Look how pretty these purples are. I love them. And here's our other purple. And then here is the washi that coordinates. Super cute. And then of course you could also pair this with the purple from Rainbow Basics, which would be a really cute pairing. Okay, then we have pink. I know pink is technically not part of Roy G. Biv, but I love pink, so I always include it. I love these shades of pink. This is like a bright pink and a lighter pink. Then we have our light pink and our light pinks. I love these. And the washi for this one is so cute. Look at this. Look how cute this is. The pink paired with the green. I think these stickers in this washi would be really cute if in October you're doing like a breast cancer awareness spread or if you just wanna save them for the spring if you love pink. I love this. You can pair it with the pink from Rainbow Basics and that's a really cute pairing. And it also looks really cute with the green from Rainbow Basics. So both of those look really, really cute with this pink one. All right, and then our last one, this is a color I've never done in Roy G. Biv, but I found these florals and I had to use them. This is a really pretty peach. So we've got like a darker peach and a light peach. And then look at these florals. I just think they're so pretty. And then we have this with the peach. And then this is our peach washi with the green. It's so gorgeous. This is one of my favorite ones. I think it's so pretty. And of course, this one, if you're pairing it with something from Rainbow Basics, I would pair it. It does look cute. Let me pull these two out. You could pair it with the orange from Rainbow Basics, and that would be really cute. You could also pair it with the green from Rainbow Basics. Like, look how cute that set would be. Such a cute set of washi. Okay, and then that is the end of Roy G. Volume 3. So then this is 
all the washi together if you want to see it all so red orange yellow green blue blue indigo violet pink and peach Less having these sold really fast of course this is a new set um but if you want these just set a reminder because last time they sold out really really fast um and then these are already on the website you can go ahead and order these now or you can wait if you want to order them together the book is $19.99 the washi is $19.99 they both release on friday september 17th at 10 o'clock a.m central on kelloflan.com if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'd also love to hear in the comments which color is your favorite in this book if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And happy planning!